Um, what's up? I'm trying to think of something interesting I could tell you. You got something to say? How was your day, baby? <laughs> well, <laughs> last night at about 3 30 in the morning, I had a panic attack in my bunk on the bus. It does happen, thank you. I actually thought I was buried alive. That's actually not true. That was a few nights ago. I woke up and I thought I was buried in a box. Otherwise, I was a coffin. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, and then last night I had a panic attack and I thought we were, it was just terrifying. Like existentially, I was troubled by the idea that I was inside of the bunk, in the bus, on a ship. We were supposed to, I thought we were taking a ferry. That's tonight. So. Last night I thought we were on the ferry, and I and I thought all I all I actually had this vision of myself opening the uh, the hatch on the top of the bus and trying to pull Tegan to safety. Aww. Aww. <laughs> mm, by a show of hands, who thinks they're strong enough to carry me to safety? <laughs> <laughs> but if I had to be, if I had to be, I think I could, I think I could. But anyways. I guess I just tell you that um, now because I think that it sort of ties in. Do you think the existential crisis was because of the bottle of scotch you guys drank? Yeah. No, no. Generally, alcohol actually really calms me down. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what is happening on this tour. I think if I were to just go out on a limb, and uh, I mean I haven't talked to my therapist about all of this yet, but if I were just going to go out on a limb and just you know just armchair therapist myself, I would say that. Um, Sort of on a bigger, like, emotional level, uh, I feel trapped and somewhat claustrophobic by my circumstances. Like the bus? Or do you mean more... Maybe in life. I don't know. I mean, it could be something about Donald Trump being the president. And just being honest with you. It's not about my career. This isn't about music. This is more, like, generally in life. Like, you know, I... Every day I wake up and I look at Twitter and the internet and it's like, it's just, it's bad. And I want to be one of those people who can like give other people um, like pep talks, like that's always kind of been my thing. But like in the middle of the night, last night, I just realized like I just don't really have a pep talk for myself right now. And that sounds really dark, but I will say this, I do look forward to this part of my day because there's sort of a, you know, like a, like a discharge of all my anxiety on top of your faces, and, uh, okay. And I do look forward to that discharge every night. Okay. But, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. I just said that to be, I said that to be, to be funny. But, okay, the, 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 the pep talk part of this is that, um, I do, I do wake up sometimes and I think, at least there are so many of us in the world who know when uh, shit and people are crazy. And I do believe in the good side of stuff. And I do. And, uh, and, and I just want to be clear that if Tegan and I were on a sinking ferry, I would totally be able to drag her body to the top. Of the crisis and we put a record out called The Con. See, you, think, you think to yourself, oh my god, how will Tegan bring this around to the next part of the show? But see, I knew that this would tie in nicely. Easy. This time was an easy, easy one. Yeah, yeah it was easy. Like, all we talked about was how uh, scared of death at the end of the world we were um, 10 years ago when we made The Con. Good to, good to know you're back on that kick though, that's exciting. Yeah, I think I'm back there. Yeah, that's okay. There. Well, for anyone else who's feeling that way, we're now going to play some songs off of the con. And I could give a piece of advice to anyone in the audience, including Sarah, to make yourself feel better. What feels really good, it won't. It might. Have an open mind. Sorry, I can't hear you. Um, the end where I scream hysterically, I've been doing it 10 years, it feels really fucking good. So feel free to do it along with me. Yeah, that's the whole on there. <laughs> I'm not discharging anymore. <laughs> you're gonna go in the you're gonna go in the penalty box, all right? You're gonna go have to go stand back there. Okay, I'll change my word. It's sort of a uh, uh, it's an exorcism. It's sort of like uh, an exorcism each night to sing and say words. 
together as a group. So Great. if you want to sing along with us, together we will have a group exorcism. Let's. <laughs> I broke down and put you back before you